I'm joined now by Frank Dewin, ESA, ISS, and Terra Nove Program Manager. Thank you so much for being here. You've launched from Baikonur. How's it feel to be just yards from the clock here at Kennedy? It feels great, of course, to, to be back here. We have, of course, launched already a lot of ESA astronauts here uh, on uh, SpaceX uh, Crew Dragon uh, missions. And uh, so it's always great to be back. Especially on a launch day, right? Especially on a launch day, <laughs> yes, certainly. And this is your second ESA second time launching a Project Astronaut with Axiom Space. It's a new concept. What kind of lessons learned did you get from AX3 the first time a Project Astronaut flew on an AX mission? Well, the, the lessons learned that we, we had, of course, is that these missions can be extremely successful for ESA and for our member states. Uh, we can do a lot of science uh, on those missions, technology development. Uh, for example, during the mission here with uh, Swavos, we will have 13 Polish uh, experiments that will be flying. Uh, it's not only about the science, it's also building industrial capability in our member states, uh, gaining support for our exploration program. So these missions can be highly successful for ESA and for the member states that uh, decides to implement them. And does it also grow the pool of astronauts in a unique way? What are you finding as, as the pool is growing? Well, the, the pool is growing a little bit, of course. The, the project astronauts, after their mission, they go back to their normal job. But of course, they remain astronauts. They remain advocacies for space, for education, for STEM. This is also a big part of this mission, uh, inspiration. Uh, that uh, we want to bring. Uh, if we want to fight climate change, for example, in the future, we need more and more engineers, we need more scientists, and this is needed for our society. So inspiration is also a very important part of this mission. So tell us a little bit about Swavos. Why was he chosen? Why was he chosen for this mission? What do you think he's going to bring to the table during the mission and after? Well, Swavos, uh, in the first place, of course, is an excellent uh, scientist. Uh, he has worked a lot in uh, CERN mm -hmm. uh, as an engineer and a scientist. So he brings that aspect, of course, uh, with him. He has a great personality. If you see pictures of Swavos, he's always smiling. So uh, that is also something that he can bring to a crew, but also to the European Astronaut Corps. And then again, in, in Poland, he's really a hero. He's really a star. And uh, that's really great for the young kids that uh, can look up to him and that can also invest their careers in science and in technology. So you think it's going to make a huge impact in Poland. What do you think it's going to do for exploration for the young people of the nation of Poland? Well, I think it's uh, good for exploration and uh, also for ESA, by the way, uh, because through the mission of Swavos, uh, Poland is also engaging more in exploration, uh, engaging more in the European Space Agency, uh, bringing extra uh, funds to us. So that's uh, great. Uh, and again, we will build up industrial capability in Poland, which we all also need. Uh, we, if we want to go to a low Earth orbit economy, for example, mm -hmm. we will have to build up more actors, more players that can work and that can contribute to this economy. And therefore, as well, this is a great uh, endeavor. And of course, we will need young people uh, in the future to do this. And uh, that's why uh, Swavos and this mission will be a great success, I believe. Thank you so much, Frank. Thank you for being here. Good luck to ESA. Congratulations to ESA and the country of Poland. And I can't wait for this wonderful evening. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for having me.